Welcome to episode one of the All In Gaming Podcast, where we discuss variety gaming topics as a whole. I'm your host, Bornamiji. We'll cover the latest news in gaming, tips and tricks, and all else gaming on this series. Drop a comment if there's anything you'd like to see talked about in future episodes. Like and subscribe to show some love and stay, to- stay tuned to the show. I stream gaming live on this channel frequently, so tune in to hang out and view gameplay. This podcast is intended to be able to provide all that you'll need through audio alone, so feel free to listen alone. However, I will display content on the video from time to time to enrich the experience. I'd like for this to become a daily podcast, but currently do this outside of a full-time job, so I will get it to you as often as I can for the time being. That being said, there's a couple topics we'll discuss today. Uh, Later in the video, I do want to talk about the future of this podcast and why I'm sort of getting into it, just to give you guys some overall background. But let's start with the actual news and updates first and save that for the people who want to hang out and maybe hear some more later. Uh, One of the first topics that we have today is that Game Pass has released a new catalog of games they're releasing. So if you're not familiar, Xbox Game Pass is basically a subscription service like a Netflix or something like that. Uh, But for gaming, PlayStation has their own version of it uh, with PlayStation Extra and Essentials, I believe, uh, uh, maybe Plus. I'm not exactly sure of the terminology for PlayStation, but there's different tiers that unlock access to different games. Uh, Xbox has the same thing, and theirs actually works with Windows as well. Uh, Today they put out some news that there is going to be Uh, Some new games coming to the platform. There are a few different plans available. It looks like Core uh, is your just base Xbox Live in a a small catalog of of games. They have console, PC, and Ultimate. Uh, Let's see. Hundreds of high-quality games on console, PC, and Cloud for Ultimate. So it looks like the PC and console are sold separately and Ultimate is all together. So if you have PC and Xbox, you can play all of them at once. Um, so some of the new games that they've uh, announced, it says full list of 36 games included in the Xbox Game Pass 4 ahead of tomorrow's launch uh, will be Among Us, Astro Near, Celeste, Dead Cells, Descenders, Dishonored 2, Doom Eternal Standard Edition, Fable Anniversary, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, Firewatch, Forza Horizon 4, Standard Edition, Gang Beast, Gears 5, Game of the Year Edition, Golf with Your Friends, Grounded, Halo 5, Guardians, Halo Wars 2, Hellblade, Sinew and Sacrifice, Human Fall Flat, Inside Limbo, Ori, In the Will of the Wits, Overcooked 2, Payday 2, Crime Wave Edition, Power Wash Simulator, Psychonauts 2, Slay the Spire, Spirit Faller, uh, Spirit Fair, Far- Farewell Edition, Stardew Valley, State of the K2, Juggernaut Edition, Super Liminal, Elder Scrolls Online, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge, Unpacking, and Vampire Survivors. All will be available in the Core Edition, which is set at $9.99 a month. The console edition is set at $10.99 a month, and the PC edition is $9.99 a month, with the Ultimate Edition at $16.99 a month. So, $16.99, that is. There's some of the new games coming to Game Pass. Looks like Game Pass is making a uh, Switch. If you're not aware already, Starfield, I believe, is available as well. One of the biggest new games uh, lately on Game Pass. Uh, so I do not you know, I do not believe you need to go and purchase the game in order to play it, but I do recommend uh, checking out the Game Pass if you have Xbox, you have PC. See if you like the games on it. Seems like you can get into it. Uh, turn it off if you don't want. It's like a subscription service. I will say, if you make use of it, it really seems to be worth it. Uh, you don't pay the full price for a game. You've got all these games you can play. It's like a big library, but it will start to add up if you're not using it and uh, become something not worth paying for. So I'd recommend turning it off and on as you need, play the games you want to play, uh, sort of treat it like that. There there are some really cool games on there. I believe like Crusader Kings 3 is one of my favorite that's also on there. So yeah, just keep that in mind. That was one of the news uh, that, that came out recently. Okay, so the next section of the podcast today uh, is going to come from NBA 2K24. It's been one of the games that I've been playing recently. And on this podcast, we will focus Definitely on the games that I am playing because I know I'll know the most about them. Of course, we will. We're open to discussing uh, pretty much any games that are out there, any anything in gaming news. I love to hear from you guys. I love to read stories online, and I just want to get you guys all the information. But especially the games that I'm playing, uh, I will uh, definitely put out some tips and tricks and stuff like that uh, to help the community uh, learn from those, repost things that I sort of uh, also learn myself. Just help you guys out. Uh, and one thing I've I've been figuring out in PA 2K24. It actually came out recently is I highly recommend, it seems like they've changed up the quests a bit from NBA 2K23. I'm talking about next gen here as well, so keep that in mind. Um, But a lot of people may just want to get into the game, 
and start playing online and not really mess around too much with the quests that are available. But I will say, definitely make sure you go to your quests and you go check the season log, the side, the main, all these different quests, because you will have a lot of different perks that are available to you, such as takeover perks, badge perks, uh, a variety of different things out there. And a lot of these tasks will say something like, hey, you need to have 50 shots well defended or 50 fast breaks well defended. Or uh, if you're gonna shoot six field goal attempted, you need to shoot 80% field goal percenter or better. Um, and so it's just these things, or, or uh, let's see, 50 points plus rebounds plus assists plus blocks plus steals in the Chris Brickley gym. So these are just a variety of random things that you will collect just by playing the game. But if you don't actually go accept these tasks from uh, the, the, whoever gives it away, some NBA player usually, you will not make any progress on these. So I highly recommend that as soon as you can, early on in the process, you go ahead and you accept these tasks. So that way, while you're playing the game, you'll make progress on these. Also the badge perks, make sure you're going and turning them in. You do need to go turn a lot of these tasks in. So just pay attention if you complete a task and you'll start to make some good progress. It seems like this year they didn't have, have you just run around for no reason. The city itself is a lot smaller than it was last year. It's easy to get around, but you do need to go talk to these people. You do need to turn stuff in. This is in my career for NBA 2K24 next gen and you will start to reap the rewards uh, for example, also the Elite and Rise affiliations. Uh, those are a little tricky. Off rip, I will say, I think that the Rise affiliation is a little bit easier to get into than the Elite. I think the Elite, you've got to get some wins and things like that. And the wins can be tough. It's a little sweaty, at least early in this, in this game. It is very sweaty on the Elite courts. I've had more luck on the Rise courts. I was able to eke out my 10 wins. It wasn't easy. Uh, <laughs> it was a little bit difficult. Uh, but make sure you go get those tasks because once I got into Elite, I got a bonus to all my shooting attributes, I got a bonus to all my defensive attributes, and now I can start to progress from starter uh, within the Elite. For, let's see, let's see, it's Rookie. Uh, you start out Rookie 1, Rookie 2, Rookie 3, Starter 1, Starter 2, Starter 3, Veteran 1, Veteran 2, Veteran 3. I believe it starts to slow down. I'm pretty sure that this is uh, something that stretches across the whole year. But you actually get some really, really cool perks, at least on Elite. Once you hit, uh, let's see, Veteran 1, you actually receive 50,000 BC. Veteran 3, you get 100,000 BC. Those are, of course, way down the line. But at Veteran 3, you also get plus 2 to all your shooting attributes. Veteran 2, you get plus 2 to all your defensive attributes. Uh, so, and Rebirth 2.0, it says all Rebirth 2.0 builds can immediately receive upgrade to 99. Start with silver badges and receive a 10% increase in bad progression. Um, so those are some of the late bonuses. Um, besides that, you get like a hoverboard, uh, you get the two-way tenacity booster. And so it, it'll be similar as well for Rise. It'll just be playmaking and finishing oriented and that heat check as well. Um, but there are really cool stuff that you can get, but until you go and do those quests, you're not making any progress on this. You can make progress on the Elite and the Rise uh, in any game mode. You just have to go and do the quests, unlock them, so yeah, basically all that I'm saying at the end of the day is uh, not all the quests are made equal. Um, there are a bunch out there. They're easy to do this year, I think, comparatively to how they were last year. And you can still really just go play basketball and not have to focus on them, but you do need to go accept them. They're worth doing. Uh, there's also the Mamba mentality that they have as well. Um, Mamba mentality, I believe this year, it is going to make your double takeover Effect. So this year, well, let me just add a little context. This year, when you have takeover, uh, you can pick what you want to put it on. You can put it on finishing. You can put it on uh, shooting. You can put it on playmaking. It shows it here on the screen, actually. But yeah, finishing, shooting, playmaking, defensive, and rebounding, and physicals. You press a button after you activate the takeover to choose whichever you want in the game. And if you hit double takeover, just in the bare, the, in the base game as it stands. You can pick two different ones. You can't double up. You can't double up. I can't do double shooting. I can pick shooting and then something else. Or playmaking and then rebounding. You know, something like that. Um, but if you do the Mamba mentality, it shows it here on the top left of the screen. 
but it says to unlock complete all three of the brickly in art of shooting takeover challenges when unlocked mamba mentality will replace your double takeover when activated mamba mentality will boost all categories so i take that is you get double takeover everything is a big boost that sounds really 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 good uh you just have to go and get these badges sponge is one of the easiest ones to get guys uh just go play the street ball games in the uh, top of the map, uh, I forget the name of the court. There's the point and the yard. Uh, this one's Sunset Park, I believe. It could be any of them, though, but that's where you go accept it. It's like Sunset Park, maybe from CJ McCollum. I actually don't exactly recall. But all you got to do is win like three street ball games and recruit those guys to your team, and then you get the sponge. And then that upgrades your or makes your takeover uh, happen faster when your teammates are playing well. Can't hurt to have them on. Uh, I also got Minimizer Decelerator really easy. Uh, the rest, you know, there are tasks to go do. Um, it's no big deal. Accelerator always looks like the best. It says unlock all other takeover perks. Unlock this perk. Accelerator just speeds up how fast you get your takeover, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, no be all. We just want to play basketball when we're playing NBA 2K. But I do highly recommend you go out and take care of business on these quests. Go accept them early so that way it makes it easier for yourself. Also, make sure you are accepting your daily and weekly quests depending on what you play. If you are a rec player, if you are a rec player, you got, there's, there's a guy that stands right outside the rec and he will give you daily and weekly rec tasks. Just take them. Uh, there's been plenty of times already since this game came out. This is like day five or six of 2K24 being out that I've got 750 VC just from accepting uh, the daily rec tasks before I go play. There's ones for NBA, there's ones for an affiliation, um, and I think that the affiliation ones have to be played in the park. There's a pro-am one and a rec one. So if you're a theater player, uh, which I frequently am, I don't think there is anything for you unless I'm something, unless I'm misunderstanding the affiliation ones, I'll have to test that out. But if you're any of the rest of them, rec, park, Pro-Am, NBA, just my career. Go accept your daily and weekly challenges. Uh, even if you don't complete them, it's not gonna hurt you. But you give yourself a chance at uh, higher VC rewards. But as with any of these other quests that I'm talking about, if you do not accept it, you won't make any progress on it. So you don't give yourself a chance. You just have to walk over and go accept them. So that's the MLBL guys. I hope that that little tip and trick uh, helps you guys out. We'll stay tuned to some more 2K content uh, throughout the podcast as, as we move forward in future episodes as well. So that's the content that I had for the podcast today in terms of the gaming news and updates with the tips and trick. Uh, I just wanted to give a little taste of what this podcast could become here in episode one. Uh, in, in, in the fact that we're going to focus on variety gaming, it could be anything in gaming. That's what I want this podcast to be. I, I just want to talk for a minute here uh, with you guys, especially because it's episode one of like, what is this? What can I expect from this? Uh, it's all new and things like that. It's new for me. Um, but essentially, to just give you guys an update, and this has nothing to do with just gaming content as a whole, this is what this podcast is and, and, and what I want it to become, uh, and, and it explains what these videos are, essentially. Uh, I'm looking for, uh, so on this channel, if you guys are new, uh, we, we stream live games, we do it on TikTok, we do it here on YouTube, we do it on the other streaming platforms as well, uh, and just have fun doing it. We post a lot of shorts, post a lot of TikToks, uh, and that's something that I, I felt really uh, comfortable with, felt really confident about. And I feel like we get a good amount of, of content posted. Uh, I, I, I'm working on the back end to get a little better with the editing and stuff like that. Uh, but I feel really good about all that. And I, I love playing the games and hanging out with everybody. And we have great conversations. Uh, and I think on this channel, especially in our live streams, one of the things that I love is we get to talk about, I talk with all sorts of gamers. We end up talking about all sorts of games, even games that I don't really even play. But it's just so much fun to engage with you guys about that. Um, but I've been really seeking for like, what, what's the best kind of YouTube video content that I could provide? I love listening to podcasts personally. It's one of my favorite things to turn one on, uh, listen while I'm in the middle of doing something, uh, really just get to follow a creator and, and listen to what they have to say, get updated on the, the, the stuff that I like. Um, and, and, and there's a variety of things that I listen to, but for me, at least on this channel, we're, we're gaming focused and gaming oriented. It means a lot to me. Uh, and I used to do podcasting on this channel in the past when we were uh, Calzax uh, channel. That was, that was the name of the channel was Calzax, and we actually rebranded to, to Barnum EG uh, in the past, I don't know, six months, something like that. 
Um, so anyway, I just kind of wanted to find uh, some content that you guys could appreciate that that is, you know, it's not just gameplay because I feel like if you guys want gameplay footage, unless it's a really cool clip or video, I don't want to just post gameplay for gameplay's sake on the channel. I want to I want to give you guys some content that has some more meat to it, uh, where we can have just just there's there's more purpose to the content and really find that niche for this channel of of what what we can uh, what we can do differently and what we can do well. And for me, that it doesn't seem like that's gameplay uh, footage so much. Uh, for those that want the gameplay, come by the live streams, check out the YouTube shorts. Now and then, we will post some cool uh, gameplay videos on YouTube, just depending. But I don't want to oversaturate that, right? So to me, this this podcast is an opportunity for uh, us to kind of walk through the comments, walk through anything in gaming news. I love, my problem is that I love games uh too too much from the standpoint that there's so many games out there i can't play them all <laughs> i i play a select few of them but i love to talk about all of them uh and you check out new ones even and stuff like that and you guys know even more than i do and i know we'll get a lot of comments and just sort of mailbag stuff that we can talk through with gaming so it's going to be really awesome to learn about all that kind of stuff um so that that's one of the reasons that i want to get into this uh, is to sort of be able to, even though I can't go out and play all, every single game out there, we can at least talk about it. We can talk about the updates. We can we can just have fun uh, discussing a variety of gaming co topics without having to be so centralized on a select few games. At that point, we will, because like I say, I will focus primarily on the games that I am playing just because I'll know the most about them. Um, so it will be a little bit selective, but I, I float between games. You know, I, I, I have games that I really enjoy. Uh, it's going to be a lot of Tarkov. It's going to be uh, Escape from Tarkov. That is a lot of 2K. Um, but all, there are other ones I love. I love like the From Software games. Uh, maybe at some point we'll check out Starfield. I'm a big Bethesda guy in the past, so the, we will float into some other games as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That that's kind of where my head's at. Uh, I just wanted to have an opportunity to talk with you guys. Uh, start to generate some new forms of content than I've done in the past. Uh, and I think this would be great. I think this would be great. I like. I want to do it as often as possible. I work full time outside of this, so it's it's going to be a little hit and miss in terms of when these come out. Um, but I'm sure we can, you know, just start here and, and and go from here and see where it goes. Enjoy the process. Uh, but I think it'll be great content. So, anyway, if you guys have anything you'd like to talk about in future episodes, uh, I'll get one to you again as soon as possible. Let me know in the comments. Uh, we'll see you guys around. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe, as always. Love you guys. Talk to you next time. Peace.